Hi, Ken here. Drought can take a serious toll on plants and animals. When cells are deprived of water, they shrink, collapsing upon themselves, and without water, cell biochemistry may malfunction. However, some plants, like the resurrection fern, uh, can survive extreme drought. They can lose as much as 95% of their water content. This is an amazing superpower. Most plants and animals can't tolerate more than 10 to 20% water loss. 15% water loss is usually fatal in human beings. The resurrection fern gets its name because it can survive extensive periods of drought by curling up its fronds and appearing dead. The curled leaves dry with their bottom sides upwards. In this way, they can rehydrate quickly when the rains come, as most of the water is absorbed on the bottom side of the leaves. When drying, the plant produces special proteins called dehydrins near the cell walls. Dehydrins act as a lubricant, allowing the cell walls to fold in a way that can be reversed. Scientists are studying how this works to possibly bioengineer this ability in other plants so that they can better tolerate drought. It may be possible to design materials with a similar elastic response, such as mobile, deployable structures that are transported dry but deploy using moisture uptake. Structures with shape memory. Let's watch a time-lapse movie of the resurrection fern coming back to life. Two and a half hours are shown in 60 seconds. The fern is an epiphyte, or air plant, which means that it gets its nutrients from the air and water. It clings onto tree branches, logs, and rocks, but not as a parasite. It attaches to objects only for support, to be in the best position for exposure to sunlight and to collect water. Like all ferns, the resurrection fern does not reproduce by fruits or seeds, but uses spores instead. The spores are found in clusters called sori on the bottom of the blades. The plant is native to tropical and subtropical regions in the Americas and Africa. Indigenous peoples historically have recognized the significance of the plant. It has been used, for example, as a diuretic, a remedy for heart problems, and as a treatment for infections. Recent medical research is confirming some of these folklore reports and has shown that extracts from the fern have antiarrhythmic cardiac properties. Check out the information written below to learn more about the resurrection fern and its amazing superpowers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.